Hey, I know it's been a minute, but welcome to another episode of Minutes of Awesome. This will be the greatest video you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, best intro ever. Minutes of Awesome. Have you ever found yourself driving on a freeway or let's just say a regular road and maybe the speed limit for this road is 40 or 60 and you're just driving, you know, you're obeying the speed limit, you just go and then every car just seems to swoosh by and you start wondering What's going on? And you feel like you're going slow, so you take a look at your speedometer Says I'm going 40 Because every other car is moving at such high speeds, it feels like you're moving so slowly. The temptation becomes to increase your speed to try and catch up. You find yourself no longer following the law of the road, but moving along with the flow of traffic. This is what happens with most of us. We find that we compare ourselves with the speed of others, forgetting that our destination might not even be the same. When we should wait, we don't. We are constantly in a hurry because this is what we need to do. But whose timeline are we following? Some of us are working with the timeline of our parents, our friends, celebrities. That person on social media you really don't like but somehow you keep following. You see, we all have this pressure to achieve things at a certain time, all based on other people's experience. Now most of the things we need to achieve are good. It's just that our timing and reason for doing them are skewed. There's a wonderful story found in John 11. And this story is about a man called Lazarus. Now Lazarus is a friend of Jesus who falls extremely sick. So a message is sent out to Christ to come see him so that Christ can pray for him that he might be healed. But Jesus does not go immediately. He waits for two extra days till Lazarus dies. Now according to the timeline of man, that is way too late. Jesus, why are you waiting, man? Ain't you heard? Lazarus is sick. I thought he was your friend, bruh. If you wait too long, he gon' die. Is that what you want? Oh, it is? Wow. Jesus answers that question in verse 4 when he says, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified through it. The timeline of God does not typically fall in alignment with the timeline of man. Because God's schedule is all about his glory, while ours is all about our convenience and our pleasure. There are times when all you need to do to win a battle is relax and march around a city singing and rejoicing. But if you are focused on the timeline of man, you might find yourself rushing into a battle that you cannot win. Your life is not the same as your neighbor's. And not everyone who drives on the road is headed to the same destination. So trying to match their speed is just plain silly. And you must remember, not everyone who starts first ends well. I am not saying you shouldn't have drive, but focus on the destination and the one who's taking you there. Knowing that what others might consider a delay today has been orchestrated to glorify his name, more grace.